Hello, I'm Edward Foster, artist, and I have my drawing, The Devouring, uh, with me today. So, this drawing came about through um, a deep meditation. I was studying Reiki at the time, and this was part of my training. Um, so it was a deep meditation led by my Reiki master. Um, so it was a very deep journey within. Now meditation for me is very, very visual, um, but not only is it visual, it's in tune with my other senses too, and it's extremely physical too, so I'm aware of my body when I'm going into these states. So, as part of this deep meditation, I, I found myself on a rocky precipice, and whilst I was there, a crow came and devoured me. Now, that sounds quite um, frightening. In a sense it was, but the devouring wasn't um, physical pain, it was more of an emotional pain. It was something I had to unlock and the crow came to me and devoured me. Now when I said devoured, it was more like it put its arms around me and held me. That was what it felt like. But visually, the crow came down, opened wide its beak, and devoured me. But this was um, a fantastical thing for me, um, because it got rid of a blockage, it opened up new doorways for me. And the crow, which was guardian, was also part of me, too. So let's have a little look at the style of the drawing. Um, as you can see, if you look at the crow, he's a very stylized crow, but you do recognize him as a crow. And um, there's lots of spirals in here. If you look at the wing, it spirals round and round. Uh, this this um, spiral here is also found as part of the beak that spirals around there, so there's repetition in design. And we have on the beak too we have these zigzag patterns here which are part of antoptic um, signs and visions that can happen too whilst in a meditative state. So if we look also at the character, the figure, which is myself, the face is reflected in the rock too. So there's lots of um, subtle things going on in this drawing, lots of um, things repeating themselves in different parts of the drawing to give it balance too. So let's have a look, let's have a little talk about visionary states and how to fall into visionary states. Now we can all do this. It's not just exclusive for a few, not at all. In fact it's quite the opposite. It's for everybody. We can all go into visionary states and we do because we all daydream. So, daydream is knowledge. And we're often told that daydreaming is a waste of time. The absolute opposite of that, daydreaming is not a waste of time. Daydreaming is part of planning. Daydreaming is part of um, using your wonderful imagination, creative imagination, intelligent imagination. And you prepare things through that. So a daydream, let's think of a dream. A dream comes to you, okay? It engulfs you within its world. But you can travel into the dream too. And you can take control of what you do in this dream as well. So, you are co-creating with this dream. Now a lot of people uh, will say that they can't do that. Yes you can immediately get rid of the word can't. That's what blocks you. You can't do it. If you think you can't do something, you can't do it. If you think I can do something, you can do it. So in the case of this dreaming state um, and creating within the dreaming state, you can do it. Just let yourself do it. It's a very natural thing for you to do. So, um, through the experience of this daydreaming, find out the knowledge that you find in this dream. Now, 
when that dream has happened, document it by drawing, like I have done in my picture here. And as you draw the imagery of what happened in your dream, you're creating your feelings on the paper about that dream as well. So, not only are you creating what happened in the dream, as you draw, you are creating then too. So, you create whilst in the dream, you come back from the dream, back from the journey, and then you draw how you felt about that dream and what happened in the dream. So you are creating about an experience that has happened and an experience that is happening too. So that is a brilliant way to get into a visionary state. Try it. Well, thank you so much for watching this um, video today on my drawing, The Devouring. Um, please check out my YouTube channel for further videos um, that I have on some of my artwork. Um, please consider subscribing too. Well, thank you very much and um, goodbye.